Shannon has had O&H ever since she was born, and we have always been interested in anything alternative because when the medical society and the United States can help you, it's time to look elsewhere. And they said she was totally blind when she was born. She couldn't see anything. Nothing could ever be done for her. Her optic nerves would never change. I'm, my name is Judy Sale, and I am here with my daughter, Shannon Sale Brackus. Uh, my name is Shannon Sale Brackus, and I uh, come from Meridian, Idaho, in the United States. And I am 40 years old, and I have ONH. I was born with an underdeveloped with underdeveloped optic nerves, and um, my MRI indicated that I also have SOD. However, I have no other additional symptoms that often go with SOD. I only have underdeveloped optic nerves. I came to China with a little bit of light perception in my right eye and 20-2400 in my left eye. I have a very small pinpoint of uh, vi vision in my left eye. I also had nystagmus, so a lot of movement of the eye rolling and bouncing of my eyes when I came to China. I do see color. Um, when I came, I, I really did not have any um, peripheral vision. Um, I see a pinpoint, I have a pinpoint of vision, and I, I have the nystagmus, my eyes move involuntarily, and I think I would, my eyes would move sort of searching to create a picture. And I would create a picture, and that is, you know, that is how I would see. The doctors have said, you can't do anything for, they told us, do not buy her a bicycle. She wanted a bicycle. Her, the blind foundation that was working with her said, do not buy her a bicycle, it's a waste of your money. She can't ride it, she has no peripheral vision, she has no depth perception, she, no balance. We bought her a bicycle when she had her sixth birthday, and within two months, she rode it around an open parking lot where there were no obstacles, by herself. That's all she wanted. She was done. That proved them wrong. When I was born, they told my mom that I uh, was completely blind and that I always would be, and that once, you know, when a baby is born, the optic nerve does not continue to develop. But from what I understand over the years now, they tell families um, that the optic nerve does, will continue to develop sometimes a little bit, I think up to five or six years. Um, but as far as treatment, there, there is nothing that I'm aware of. We have continued all of her life to look for other alternatives for her to have vision. We've, her vision, when she was about 18 months old, we realized she could see something. <clears throat> we had no idea what or how, but she could see something. We, um, tried all different things, and at times she, we could see improvement from it. All my life, um, like I said I hadn't been looking so much for things to help, but I've, I've, I've tried everything that has come along, um, vitamins and minerals. I've worked very hard to live a very healthy lifestyle. And so it was something, truly, we've tried everything that ever, you know, was ever suggested. Um, just because we felt like, you know, we had, we had to at least do that, at least try. So we'd been down that road several times. You know, we'd never spent that much money or gone to another country for 35 days. But, but we, my husband said to me at one point that he was scared. He said, if you come home and there are no changes, you're going to be so sad. And I told him I would. He's right. You know, I would be very sad. But... It, it would be very sad for a little while, but if I didn't come at all, I would be sad for a long time, wandering, if it would maybe have worked. He was very um, apprehensive and said that it was, that ONH went with SOD and it, it was much too complicated for stem cells to help that. Um, 
He asked how much it would cost when I told him. He said, you know, he said it was very expensive. And I said, well, not nearly ex as expensive as it will be in the States. And he told me, you know, I said, you know, I have to try. I want to know if it'll work. And he said, well, even if you come back and it helps, it won't mean anything to me because you didn't have a VEP test. And so I, well, I told him, I said, well, I'm really not going for you. I'm going for me. <laughs> and I said, if it improves my quality of life, that's more important to me than what the VEP shows. There was a part of me initially who thought, I want to drive. I don't want to go to China for 35 days and spend that much money and not drive. Um, and I, I, it, it took some time for me to start to understand how it could improve my life. Um, and I think that happens, you know, in, with, even with family, other family members and friends, but also in the medical community, a lot of people would look at my life and say, well, you have such a high quality of life. What is, what is a little bit of improvement going to do? And it, it took me time to see that also. Um, I think that, you know, I, coming here, for example, I've always, I, I always make dinner for my family, but maybe now when I go home, I won't have to stick my hand in a hot frying pan to know the meat's done. That's improved, that's, that's a better quality of life. Um, when I go to my children, I, I volunteer in my children's classroom, and maybe now when I go into their classroom, I don't have to wait to hear their voice to know where they are, to find them. You know, that's a better quality of life. And so I think for each patient, they have to ask themselves what, you know, first of all, what risks they're willing to take, but also really what a better quality of life might mean. You know, already I'm playing games with my daughter you know, without having to sit on top of the board, you know, or sit on top of the, the cards to see them. Already I can do it more comfortably. I had a friend ask me, she said, I have to ask, she goes, Shannon has a great life and such a high quality of life. Why does she feel the need to go to China and do this? And I told her, I said, you know what, she does. And we will never deny that. She does awesome. She's, she was born extremely, we call it bullheaded. She wanted to do things her way, not the way someone else told her that she was going to do it. If they told her she was going to do something a certain way because of her blindness, she, she did it to prove them wrong. She has done everything but drive. And so I told them, I said, you know what? If she can do it easier or in a more simple way, she deserves that. So that's what we're looking for. And I think that's what we're finding.